Hello, my name is Collection Connoisseur. I collect digital thingamabobs and video games, and today I'm playing Rain World. So this time, even though I've had the Downpour expansion installed the whole time, this time it's actually turned on. So thank you for Hein Sakamoto and Salamander of the Shoreline for pointing out to me how to do that. In the remix menu, here's the the mods that I have applied. So there's the Rain World Remix, that's the main one, I think. There is Expedition, which is a harder mode that I am not doing right now, so it may affect us in the future. And more Slug Cats, which I assume give me more options rather than the Hunter, the Monk, and the Survivor. So currently the only one that's affecting us, I believe, is the Rain World Remix. And I am using the Remix preset configs I basically don't know what has changed. Now then, one of the things that adds is a collection button to the front screen, which I have collected nothing. So I've got a long way to go. All right, let's continue where we left off last time. And yeah, let's continue. Now, I have a lot to talk about this time. The first thing I might say is that I think I misread the passage thing last time, and so I used it at the end of last time to come here to the outskirts. And I think there's not a whole lot of reason for us to be in outskirts at this point, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. But while we're here, we're going to explore. What's my map button? Let's, uh, let's remember what the map button is again. Map is that button. All right. So, in the map, I want to go to places in the map that we have not gone. And forget how to work this map. There we go. So, I believe there's something around... Oh my gosh, I do not ha remember how to work this map. There it is. I think there's a room up somewhere where we can go to the left that I haven't gone, and I'm trying to figure out where it is. But I'm maybe having trouble with it. I think it's there, so we should try to go left in that room so that we can explore a new thing in the outskirts. Oh, and I'm not going to get there right now, so let's try to figure out where we should where we should rest. I think we should try to go to that place where the little flower is on the menu. So let's go up, right, and a whole bunch of up. That's what we're going for. But yeah, since we're since we're in the outskirts, let's explore. But I'm pretty incentivized to move on from the outskirts at this point. I wanted to go actually going up right is perfectly fine, gets me to the same place. And there's a thing there to eat. And I would like to eat a thing because we need that to hibernate. There's a thing to eat. It's a small thing to eat. Come on. There's one thing to eat in this room. And there's a lizard. Okay. The lizard is the most annoying thing, of course, in this room. Let's get away from the lizard. Let's just go up into... Oh, oh, there he is. All right. Let's go up into the left. There's something to eat up into the left, too. There we go. One of the other things for me to talk about is what I'm going to call the various creatures, because the game never really gives you names. Ooh, this is good. This is very good. Let's eat this. The game never really gives you names for the creatures, so I have to come up with names myself. Ooh, there's a face above me. All right, we have to go try to find that face. Where's the face? I, I know that's an enemy. Where's the face, though? To the left. So here's the spot that we want to hibernate. We have not eaten yet, though. So, we have to find something to eat, and then come back. So I was trying to talk about creatures. So some of the creatures are very easy to find names for, because some of the creatures are just lizards. 
Lizards, we will call lizards, and their color, basically. Oh man, where are you bringing me, tutorial man? Are you bringing me really far? Because we don't have a whole lot of time here. The rain is coming. But I do really want to find out what that face means. Why is he showing me my own face? So lizards are easy. There is a giant flying monster that eats lizards. I think I'm going to continue calling those monsters. Because that's what I think whenever I see them. That is a gigantic monster. Alright, where do we go now, tutorial man? Where's my face? Which direction is my face? Weren't you trying to tell me where my face was? Because you're not being very helpful about it right now. Okay. You know what? We can do something here. That I've never done before here. I've done it elsewhere, but not here. We can go... We can go over here. Through this little passage. And then if we throw the stick, which I pressed the wrong button for throw, by the way. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right. Let's throw the button for the stick. No. Okay. Pick that up again. Try again. We're trying to lodge it in the wall so that I can jump over to the left. This lizard may be a problem, but... Oh, darn. <laughs> so much for lodging it in the wall. <laughs> Alright, we really do have to find food at this point. What's over here? I picked up another Lego brick. Okay. Oh, there's another stick. I see another stick. Let's try that again. To the right? To the right is my face? Alright. Well, we're going that way then. Except that I don't know how to get there either. Yeah, I don't know how to get there either. Aha! I did the thing that I was trying to do. But I can't go to the right that way, tutorial man. Are we almost out of time? Or are we just barely seeing the time the first time? All right, we made it across. Haha, -ha, that's the first time I've ever done that. And this is good because there's food. This is the first food we've gotten this particular cycle. All right, now that we have some food, there's a creature over there that I have not seen very much. I think I'm going to call it a beetle. The one that we just saw to the left there. So let's go to the right. And Tutorial Man wants us to go right at the top. Which seems like it might be difficult to do right now. So let's, let's just go to the closest hibernate spot and make sure that we survive this this particular day. Tutorial man, you you didn't tell me enough where my face was. You stopped telling me it at some point. All right, tutorial man, do you have a, a picture of a face that you want to show me? Cuz if you do, I'd like to know it. Is it up and to the left perhaps, past all of the lizards? Alright, we have a stick with us. Having a stick with us is probably good. But let us rest. Yeah, my face is to the left. There's no time for the face anymore. Tell me tomorrow. Alright, so lizards and flying monsters. Another thing to talk about is the things that look like vines that are enemies. I'm going to call those vine mimics. Vine mimics. Ooh, what's this? There is an alien on the screen. Why are you showing me a picture of an alien? And there are new things at the top right there. I assume that I assume that's from Remix. 
Ooh. The Wanderer. We got one dot toward another passage. The Wanderer. I bet that's... I bet that's based on how many regions we've been to. We've been to one region since we got the Survivor Passage. Ooh, so we can go the Wanderer Passage. I like that. Something else to do. Pressing down and the pickup button together will place the item in your hand on the ground without throwing it. That is a wonderful tip. Thank you for telling me that that mechanic exists. Where's my spear, anyway? There it is. All right, got the spear. I like having my stick around. Now, we mainly want to go left today. Cycle 23 in the outskirts. All right. We want to go left. We definitely want to go as left as we can go to places that we have not been. I've been to a room that I think I've never been to before, last time. Actually, I'm not sure if that's a new room, but let's go that way. Let's continue going left, as far as we can go left. Of course, there is lizards in the way, but we've got a stick. There is a purple lizard. Let's keep talking about other, other creatures that we've found. So, there are two creatures that we've seen only a little bit of. One I'm going to call a crab, one I'm going to call a beetle. But I might come up with different names for them if we encounter them more often. Oh, I was trying to throw that stick at you. <laughs> Apparently threw it directly over you. But I still got away, so there we go. We're both alive, and that makes me happy. So crabs and beetles... Ooh, ooh, our face. Our face is still that way. What does the face icon mean? So curious. I'm curious like a cat. Another one that we've met, I'm going to call... Oh, what's this? I have no idea what you were trying to tell me there. Okay, this is the part where you have to tell me to go up or left for the face. Where is the face? Is it up? This goes to another area, which is fine and dandy, but not where I wanted to go. Let's keep going my way and... Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. Let's go up. Tutorial Man tells us there's a face this way. And I really, really want to know what face means. Okay, the only thing to do here is to go to the right. Which brings us to a new area, so that's good. It's an area we've been to, so it's not that new. But it's new since we had the Wanderer, right? Okay, I was trying to talk about monkeys, so my my least, the name that I'm least happy about that I've come up with is monkey, and that's for those creatures that grab sticks and seem to not be my enemies. They fight lizards, lizards eat them. Let's throw this stick to the right. There we go, we can eat that. Aha. This plant is very nice, because we can eat from it, and then we can definitely hibernate over here if we wanted. But, Tutorial Man, where do you want us to go? Tell me about faces. Okay, you want me to go up? Was that telling me to go up? By briefly being on the screen? You know, I've played a lot of games that have a lot more helpful tutorial creatures to the point that they become annoying. You are kind of not helpful enough. Tell me what you want. Are you trying to tell me something? Or not? 
He's not even on the screen. Tutorial man. You keep telling me about a face. Somewhere. Alright, let's look at the map. So we've been kind of up that direction. And there doesn't seem to be a whole lot to do up that direction. New, anyway. Oh, there's still a ball in our hide hidey hole there. Don't really know what to do with the balls, but I found one. And I put it in the hidey hole. We can... Oh, I put another ball in a hidey hole. That's a blue ball in a hidey hole. <laughs> All right. Where can we go that we haven't been? Clearly that room. So maybe what we should do is go to the right and up and hibernate at that one. Or we could go continue going up and then go down. Continue going up and then go down. There's another one of those, but there's no value in eating a second one. We'll take a second stick though, right? Can I not pick up this stick? Maybe not. Maybe it's just stuck in the ground. Or I picked up something else. I did pick up something else. Get the stick. I think the sticks are more useful. I I can't appear to get the stick. Okay. Nope. All right. We're heading toward a hidey hole. If I was right about what the wanderer was saying, then we're doing good by going to this other hidey hole and resting at a new hidey hole in a new area. I feel like the wanderer is so much more difficult than what we just did, though. All right, so there's danger around us. There's food, but we've already eaten our fill. Let's just go down. Ooh, gosh. That's scary. That's scary, but it just walked past me and did not bother. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a, there's a yellow flower here, too. Those yellow flowers are numerous these days. All right, we've successfully hibernated twice in a row at the beginning of a new episode. How about that? I feel good about that. Time for me to talk about another creature. Another creature. Well, let's wait for this to happen first. And... What? The Nomad, the Monk, the Wanderer, and the Saint? What? Okay, we did a lot of things, apparently. Toward, I assume, other passages. What could those mean? Alright. I, I have a guess about the Wanderer. The Saint? Maybe I just didn't attack anything? So I just avoided attacking that particular time? And that was good? I don't know. What could the Monk possibly be? The Monk is a different is the name of a different character. So I'm trying to go down, right, and then up. So let's try that. Down, right, right, up. And I've got a stick. So another creature. I'm calling this creature the Swiper. It's the creature that we met in the garbage wastes and right outside the garbage wastes that didn't appear to attack me but it did steal my stuff i don't know why i didn't go for that that little moth there Ooh, there's more moths up there there's a blue lizard on the screen right now okay <laughs> let's see here we want to the blue lizard left unfortunately we want to follow it okay let's follow the blue lizard questionable thing to do very questionable because it's right there. And I managed to not get any moths again. 
All right, we're trying to go up in this room. We've never really explored up in this room too much. I think. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of exploring the pathways we didn't explore before right now. To the right, there's food, which I am quite interested in. The upper left, there's a place that we've never been. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, I dropped my stick. I tried to throw my stick. All right, well, luckily we had protection, but geez, that... It says press back to restart. I, I just want to... Ooh, there was a white lizard down there, too. All right. So, luckily we had protection, so we stay at the full karma level. We lost... We lost progress in two of them. The ones that seem to be analog rather than digital. Interesting. Very interesting. I was talking about the swipers briefly. So the swipers, I'm calling them the swipers because they they didn't appear to attack me, but they did steal the stick that I had in my hand when I met them. So I'm going to call them swipers. So we're going to try going the same direction. More up, though. And again, we have protection, so we can protect our karma level. Which I only learned last time, when we got passage. When we got the survivor passage, that it was called karma. Oh, there's a lizard. Oh, I hit it in the head? I hit the lizard in the head, but it didn't stun it. Oh no. Alright. Well, we used up that protection, too. <laughs> I, I did so well, and then I did so poorly. Alright. We're still going to try that direction. Oh, I probably lost progress on things too, and I didn't wait long enough to see that. But anyway, what I've been calling levels, the game calls karma. Ooh, another, another yellow flower. Wow, that's so helpful. We find a yellow flower every single time. That is extremely helpful. Alright, so we're trying to go up. I see... I see moth creatures, which is good, because we need to eat those. Come on, moth creatures. There we go. We got one. There we go. Now we can hibernate successfully. And... There we go. Got a couple of moth creatures for our troubles. Now, let's try to go up there. Oh, there's a there's a blue lizard that we have to that we have to get out, out of out of reach. All right. Get away. Where does this path go? This path goes down. All right. Where does this path go? This path goes up. Let's go up. There is a very fast red lizard there. I do not like how fast that red lizard is. I think I may have speared that that blue lizard. I am going to go out of this room as quickly as I can. Because we were in danger. Alright, now let's look at the map. What I really wanted to do was go up left in that room. But as you can see, the danger... The danger is still upon us. So we're going to go away from the danger. Alright, these... These flowers, they hurt a lizard. Ooh, oh, oh no, oh no. Oh no, I'm being grabbed by the flower, I think. How do I get out? Oh no. Okay, so maybe I should not have grabbed that flower. It appears to create a net and trap anybody that touches it. Oh my gosh. I'm still holding part of the flower. This this was a questionable decision. Alright, if we can get this lizard to come this way, I can go past it. 
and then go back to the place that I was actually trying to go. <laughs> Alright. Juke the lizard. What else have we not talked about that I learned very recently? I learned that Tutorial Man can die, but he, he gets revived very quickly. So he dies briefly. But I had no idea that Tutorial Man could die until last time. And it was quite a shock when he got hit by a spear. Alright, so this is a new place on the map. Granted, where can we go from this new place? I'm not really sure. Can we can we fall down here or do we die if we fall down that way? It could be either. We're going to have to try. Okay, so it was not an immediate death. Instead, it is a lizard that will probably kill us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. And we had protection that time too. So we're still at the top karma level. And we still have no, we don't have any new dots, but we've lost all the progress that we had on the analog ones, whatever they were. Okay, that's useful to know, but I already knew that. I'm very happy for the tips, the tip screens. I think that comes from downpour and it's very helpful. Ooh, remember to grab my stick. So the monkey creatures, which I still still don't really like calling them monkeys, but still, the monkey creatures, they attack the lizards, and the lizards eat them. I want to go exactly the same place we went last time. Let's see if we can get there again. But maybe not die this time. And I'm going to swap these two, just in case. In case of what? In case I want to keep the stick around longer than the other thing. Because the sticks seem more useful than the Lego blocks. I think that we want to go past that lizard. On the left. He's just dancing. He's doing a jig. Where do these pathways go? That one doesn't go helpfully. Where does this one go? This one goes up. Let's go that one. I'm trying to go up left in this room again. There's a ball up at the top. Don't really know what to do with the balls. And then we want to fall down on the right and then go through the pathway there. Oh, also we need to eat again. I forgot about that because all the things that I ate last time <laughs> don't count because I died. So, let's let's get some some moths. Eat that moth. Let's eat a couple of these moths too maybe. There we go. We are full stomach. Fully satiated. Very nice. Now let's go down and see if we can go to the left down here. Ooh, there's another protection. Ho oh, ho, we are so lucky. <laughs> Finding those yellow flowers all the time. Also, this is a, like a glowing ball. All right, so this, I, I believe, is completely new to us. Completely new. And I think we can get up there by going over here first. And then jump. Oh, now you're telling me there's a face some way? What is that? That appears to be a creature that is trying to do something. I don't know. Let's go down. All right, where are we on the map now? We're in a place that I've never been. All right, let's keep going places I've never been. Also, another thing that I wanted to say is that I've, when I started this game, 
I assumed that it was a Metroidvania, and I don't know why I assumed that, but I was definitely wrong. This is more of a survival exploration game than a Metroidvania. Oh my gosh, what is that creature? Is that one of the monkey creatures? I don't know what it is, but I don't know if I want to to do anything with it. Okay, yeah, that's one of the monkey creatures. They have not attacked me before, so I could just probably go past it, but I'm still scared. I'm still a little bit scared about the monkeys because they, they wield sticks and stuff. Have I eaten yet? I have. I have eaten fully. Still checking the map. So there's... The monkey creature was basically guarding a place that I could have gone. What's this way? This way is just more ways down? All right, all right, we can continue going down, I guess. There's no enemies, which is a real surprise. Or no predators, I should say, I guess. We can get back up here because we can always slide on the wall. Okay, we can continue going down. Continue going down, let's explore. Ooh, what is that? That's a... is that a gate? Oh my. Is this another area? I think it might be. It is another area, and we can go into it. And usually the new areas have places for you to hibernate immediately inside them. Notice that. So great! Let's potentially discover a new area, too. This has been a pretty good episode for discovering new things, too. Last time was good, this time was good. Maybe I'm actually making progress in this game. What, what area are we in? <laughs> Usually it tells me the area name when I get into an area. No? Alright. I still haven't seen a hibernate spot either. But there's no enemies, so we're still safe. There's things to eat, but I don't need to eat right now. I don't know how much time we have before the rain. Oh, there's a hibernate spot. Oh, but there's a flying monster. We're in the pipe yard. Okay, I think there was a shadow of a flying monster, but I didn't see it actually come. Either way, we're going to hibernate here, and we only had three more ticks before the rain came. <laughs> All right. We made it into a new area, so in my theory, the Wanderer Passage, we should get one more dot. Let's see if I'm right. We got a new dot on the Wanderer. It is not in order, apparent, apparently. And we got in a dot in the Nomad. Those seem to be very similar names of things. And we also made progress in the Saint. I think I didn't attack any enemies that time. So, yeah. I think, I think I know how to get the Saint. And I know how to get the Wanderer. I'm going to leave the ball there and take the stick with me. I don't know what to do with the balls, but I think it's the most safe place to put the balls is is in the little hibernate spots. All right, so I, I want to go up here and I really want to go back to the left because there were lots of things to eat this way. Let's get full before we explore this area too much. And I don't need to get all the way full. Let's just eat these two. And then explore new places. 
All right, so we're making progress in, in new things, in other passages, I assume. How do we get to the right in this room? Maybe we have to go up the left in order to go right. And <laughs> these, this little jungle gym is actually difficult to navigate with the controls that I understand. Oh, there's even more food here. All right, let's eat that food too. We still have not discovered what the face means, by the way. I'm kind of sad that we have not discovered what Tutorial Man means by face. Now, I could go down or to the right here. I'm going to go down right. Okay, there's a new bug over there that I've never seen. I don't think I can eat those. Those appear to be too big to eat. Oh, oh, we need to go down here for a face. All right. Should we touch that bug? Let's spear it. All right. And get a new Lego brick. There's a face down here. There's a face... Where? Keep going down, Tutorial Man says. All right. Let's keep going down for the face. All right. Is the face to the right, I guess? Tutorial Man, tell me something. You've been talking about a face the whole time. My face, in fact. All right, there is potentially one of the white lizards, the chameleon lizards, to the right up here, so we should be very, very careful. I'm going to actually go down this way before going to the right. I wish the screen... Ooh, there's... I think those are two different types of lizards, and they both look really scary. Okay, let's... Oh no, one of them is going the same path that I'm going. Oh, and I heard, I heard a dangerous sound that I did not like. Okay, okay. We're going to try to move away from the thing that's apparently chasing me. Did it? It went a path that I can't go. I think. I think. So I think it's gone. Alright. Now let's go over here. Oh, how do we get there? I could use this stick that I have in my hand. But you know, maybe I don't want to go that way. So let's just keep going this way then. How am I going to successfully navigate this? Oh gosh. The white lizard has discovered that I'm here. But it kind of went a different path than I'm going now. So maybe we can just shimmy around past it. All right. If I'm correct about the passages, we're going to lose progress on the saint because I threw a stick at a creature in this one. Only if I survive, though. I guess we lose progress if I don't survive, but... It will be more meaning... What? There's something down? You have to tell me where these faces are a little bit better than you are. Okay. I went down here. Where's the face? Tutorial Man. Alright, Tutorial Man is not being helpful enough. I have no idea what the face means. And every time I go a place where the face might be, he stops talking about it. Alright, we need to go to the left in order to go up. Let's try to actually survive. Okay, we've got plenty of time before the rains come. So I think we might be fine. Ugh. You want me to go down to go to a face? 
You know, I went down for a face, and then you stopped talking about it. So I'm gonna go up instead. Because there don't appear to be enemies here, and there were very scary enemies below. There's so many paths to go, though. Oh, those are the crab enemies. I call them enemies. I don't know if those are actually enemies. I think they're more scared of me. Maybe. But those are the things that I'm calling crabs. All right. I found a purple ball. There's a purple ball above me. How much do I care about getting the purple ball? Not enough, because I have no idea what the balls do. I kind of want to go down, but I'm scared about going down. All right, we can go right or left. Let's go right. Right's right here. Maybe eventually the tutorial man will tell me where there is a hibernate spot, instead of keep talking about some face that's behind me. That was scary. I don't know what that was. Probably a lizard. Ooh, there's one of those guys. All right, so in theory, also there's like a, a thing right here that kind of exploded. It looks like it's exploding. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did you take my stick? I think you took my stick. I'm gonna go past you though, because you don't appear to be an enemy. Oh, there's a hibernate spot. All right. I think this is going to be it for now. We're going to go into that hibernate spot. How am I full? I am fully satiated. This is a great hibernate spot. So we're hibernating in the pipe yard. For the second time, I think. All right. This, this time, this session has been very good for me. We've discovered lots of new things. I've made progress towards other possibly passages. Ooh, I went further up the saint. Really? But I lost, I think I lost to toward the nomad? Huh. What does the nomad mean then? I'm gonna figure this out. Somewhat slowly, probably. Maybe the Nomad is you have to successfully hibernate in a different area in a row. Like you have to hibernate in four different areas in a row. That would make sense for the Nomad. And that's something that I think I could actually accomplish if I put my mind to it. We are doing very well. In this episode, I discovered a new area, the Pipe Yard, and I made progress, some of it temporary, on four additional passages. I think I have one of them figured out, two of them partially figured out, and one completely unknown. There will be new episodes every Sunday, and thanks for watching.